So I have a cute subscriber. Her name is Jody. I won't say her last name, but I don't think she does videos, but um, she asked me today to tell you all a little bit about my cats. Meow. I love my cats. Um, she wanted to know where I got them, how old they are, what their names are, and stuff like that. So let me just, I'll tell you a brief story because the story is so long. Um, first of all, I'm a cat lady. We all know I love cats. They are my life. I've always had a cat ever since I was little growing up. So anyway, <clears throat> at the time I got my cats that I have now, I did have a dog. Her name is Ginger, and I will show you who she is right now. Ginger was the love of my life, and she was the love of my husband's life. She added so much joy to our hearts. It's indescribable. I can't tell you how much we love her and adore her and we miss her. She's been gone about six years now. She was very old and we put her down. And um, it was really traumatic. We put her down in our living room. We didn't want to take her to the mobile vet. I mean, we didn't want to take her to the vet, so we had the mobile vet come. And she was able to pass away in our house. And um, about a year before, or maybe six to eight months before she passed away, I was looking out my window one day into my backyard, and I saw two little teeny weeny tiny kittens just running around. Now, being that I was and am the cat lady, I had lots of feral stray cats in my backyard. And there was one in particular that was always giving birth. I tried to cat catch her many times, but I could never catch her, so she kept having babies. But, um, so I saw Lola, my black and white cat, and her little sister. And she was gray and white. And when I see a kitten, my heart melts. And so I went into my backyard, snuck down the hill as quietly as I could, and they saw me coming. And I reached to grab the gray and white cat. But she ran away. She was feisty. But Lola, my black and white cat, she just stood there like, you know, she didn't move. And I just went, Choo! I snatched her right up, put her under my arm like a little football, and I'm like, you're mine. And I took her into my house, and she has been mine ever since. And her ears were still barely, barely tipped. She must have been about five or six weeks old. And she was as tiny as a little chipmunk. She was so tiny and adorable. And that's how Lola came into our lives. Um, my husband came home from work, and I had Lola hidden under my leg. <laughs> I was sitting on the chair like this, and I had her tucked away under my leg. And Daryl came home from work, and I said, Honey, I have to show you something. And he's like, Oh, no, what? And so I showed him, I lifted my leg, and there was this little black and white adorable little tiny kitten sitting there, and he's like, oh no. And I was like, please, please, can we keep her? And the only reason why he let me keep her is because Ginger, our dog, was so sick. And we knew that she was gonna pass away soon, and he figured Lola would ease the pain a little bit. So he let me keep her, and I, I took such good care of her, taught her how to drink milk from a dish, got her some wet food. I taught her, I potty trained her, you know, litter box trained her. I did all that. And, and then about eight months or so later, my precious dog passed away. And in the meantime, so after that, the mama cat, the mama stray cat in the backyard gave birth to like yet another set of kittens. 
And each time she had kittens, if we caught them, we would spay them and neuter them. So I just had everything, I had all the cats fixed except for this mama cat. I just couldn't catch her. And yeah, I was lazy and I didn't get the animal control people out to catch her. So anyway, another set or another three kittens were born in my yard. And that's where Marissa comes in. She's my little yellow cat. There was her, her sister Fuzzy Wump, who I adored. Oh my gosh, I loved Fuzzy Wump. And then they had a little brother. Well, they all stayed outside and I had bought a big old dog house for all the cats to sleep in during the winter months and just every day so that they could all be together and stay warm. And let me show you a picture. I'm going to insert a picture now of all the cats that we had living in our backyard. And I had a name for all of them. And I fed them all. And they were my cats. And I'm sure the neighbors were like, oh. But here's a picture of all the cats at once. When I took that picture, they were all sitting on the steps waiting to be fed because I had called them up and I was gonna feed them like some cheese or something. It was snack time. And we had Marissa's mom, sister, brother, uncle, dad, another stray cat that I don't know who it was. But anyway, so we had all those cats. Well, I would always let them in my house, just in the kitchen, so that they could get warm and play and stuff. And they were really good. Considering they were feral, they weren't very scared of me. And they were really good inside the house. But I only let them in the kitchen. So um, soon it came that we bought a new house and we had to move. And in the mean before that, well, while I was moving and we were in the process of moving and packing, Fuzzy Wump, Marissa's sister, got so sick. And she was the most precious of the bunch. She was really frail and tiny. She was the runt. But I adored her. And she was called a mute torty cat. She would meow, but nothing would come out. She'd just be like, I mean, they're mute torty cats. And this is what she looks like. Her name was Fuzzy Wump, and I adored her. She didn't even weigh an ounce. She was the fuzziest, most precious thing ever. But she got very sick several times, and I had taken her to the vet several times, but the last time, she was so, so sick and had some respiratory infection, and she couldn't breathe, and she was like, <laughs> you know, and when cats do that, they can't breathe. I mean, there's something wrong when they stick out their tongues like that. So the vet recommended that I put her down because she obviously had pneumonia or was just so sick, and, and I wasn't expecting that. And so we put her down, and my heart broke to a billion pieces. She was an angel to me. I loved Fuzzy Wump. So, um, and that very same day, her little brother, who was a little gray kitten, ran away. It's like he knew that she was gone, and he just ran away. I never saw him again after that day. So, we moved, and I ended up bringing with us Marissa, who is the yellow cat, Lola, who had already been my cat at the time I'd already had her for a couple years. So she was two. And I brought Marissa's uncle, and he was a gray kitty. And then I tried to catch um, Marissa's mom, but she was too quick. She scratched the crap out of my husband, and she got away. And the others just, we didn't. We just left him at my old house, and actually the new owner has been taking care of them because she's a cat lady too, which is wonderful. So anyway, 
when we got here, the gray cat died. I think it ate a bad mouse. We have mice around here and voles. And people put rat poison out. And I think my gray cat ate a poisoned mouse and died. He died under my porch. I was so sad. But I had Marissa with me, and at that point, she had become an inside cat. We just let her stay in the house slow, you know, a little bit longer each day, and then she used the litter box on her own, which was wonderful, and then one day, and we would always keep her in the garage so that she could stay fairly warm, and then one day... Um, I decided to let her sleep in the house overnight, and she did great. And she has been an inside cat ever since. And she and Lola get along great. Lola is seven years old now. Marissa is five. And I love them to death. And I will always be a cat lover, and I will always miss the other cats who got left behind and the kitties who have passed away. It's heartbreaking. I wish I could save them all and keep them all. But So yeah, that's the story about my cats. And I am so sorry if I have rambled your ear off, but it's just my story of my kids. I don't have kids. They are my kids, and I love and adore them. And anyone who knows me knows that I love animals to death. One day we'll get another dog, but until until then we're just we're fine with our kitties and yeah, they bring lots of joy into our lives. So anyway, that's the story. Meow. So I will go ahead and insert some pictures of Fuzzy Wump and Marissa and Lola. And these pictures are about four years old. And I hope you enjoy. Take care, everyone.